life where we focus on things that we cannot control and accumulate so much regret by the time we decide to live we're practically already dead so i go to what the world's gone to for people like me and people like you is a name change hey guys so let's welcome back to my channel i'm in a different location right now because I realized when I was sitting there, just my face looked off. And I'm not even trying to obsess over it, I just felt like things looked off, okay? Even though I'm so used to sitting there for these types of videos. I got this water bottle, okay, it's not sponsored, but like look how cute, it tells you how much you're drinking, yeah, call it cheesy, but... Anyways, um, I'm only half joking when I say this because I don't want more people coming at me and more people being upset. <laughs> I always got you guys. I always got you Tom fans, always. I always got you guys with the reactions, with the commentary. You guys, you guys didn't have me last time. When I was looking at the comments, people were overlooking my commentary and people were getting mad that I skipped so many verses and isn't it kind of ironic because like, I don't know if someone said it in the comments, like Tom talks about people being sensitive. So it's like, why were people freaking out over this? I'm like, I don't know. It, it wasn't just like in the comments of the video. It was even when I accidentally posted a live. I'm like, why are people so upset? Like, like, please give me a break. Like, like hello. <laughs> like, I'm obviously being dramatic here, but like for real, maybe you guys can't see it now because sometimes YouTube like filters it. There was a lot of trolling in the comments and people arguing. People were accusing me of like deleting comments. And someone was like, oh, it's such a show in the comments. And I'm like, what's going on here? I don't expect you guys to like to like what I do all the time. No, no, absolutely not. No, but like that's the internet. Enough of that. In this video, I'm going to be doing another reaction. Now, I'm not a reaction channel, but just hear me out. I saw this video and in fact, Hi Rez also did a remix to the song by Oliver Anthony, but I want to react to Dax's one this time instead. And I think it's going to have a really important message that everybody can resonate with, not just people in the States and Canada and the Western world and stuff. So without further ado, let's just get on with it. United we stand, divided we fall, yes! So damn train, what the world's gotten to For people like me, and people like you Wish I could just wake up, and it not be true But it is, oh it is Canadian flag He's Canadian Living in the new world With a whole soul The rich man knows this world has changed and I had to accept it. They ask my political views while I search for their hidden agendas. I don't got an answer, I try to remember the devil divides. Pressure appears from our peers. Those arguments waste our time while hoping to push their lies. So political views. I got common sense. I know God made man. And the sun sets on a life where we focus on things that we cannot control And accumulate so much regret By the time we decide to live We're practically already dead So I go to sleep Oh gosh, I get chills Like when it resonates with me When I relate to it, when I feel it It just, I get chills When it, Whatever song it is Like music speaks to me so much I love how they communicate with us through music like this Gosh, gosh, like this is Yep. So 45 years living in debt 45 years can't pay rent 45 years just for a pension I'm too old to enjoy and go spend 45 years working and slaving for rich men With no time for my family and friends Then I wake up and pray that it ends If you think of like the reality of like what we're living in The fact like we go to jobs And, and the way life is structured It's very crazy to think like how much time Or how much time really flies by And how much we don't really have time for ourselves to do things. You know, it's always work, 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 hustle, hustle all the time. And it's just crazy, you know? And like people have, have come to like just really accept it, even though maybe it's something that shouldn't really be accepted. And also the fact that people get so caught up in everything happening and they don't enjoy like the natural, beautiful, wonderful things in this life. It's crazy. This is why I also keep refusing to get social media because I don't want to be sucked into that world as well because that just makes it worse. Like, Yeah, the trajectory things go in, it's just... People just always reject these old ideas of living. And they're not bad. Like, natural ways of living. Just, you know, it's always people that are in the city that want to go to the country. Country want to go to the city. It's just, I like the peaceful, quiet life of, of these types of singers. And you guys get the vibe. Descendants of Adam and Eve. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. They're taking God out the schools. Our kids don't know what to believe. From 6 to 18, the curriculum fails. And Gen Z gets taught by their phones with forced feeds that get sponsored and paid by companies. 
you know, when I speak to people that live overseas, I tell them, like, I try to really express to them how different we were raised here, like how much different things were. And in terms of value systems, in terms of what we see in mainstream, like, I feel like in a lot of other countries, they're like mainstream Hollywood is just like nice music. Like it's, it's calming. It's good here. What they have like pushed onto us is very extreme. And then they wonder why we have so many mental health problems here. Why so many people are on pills and like why all this stuff, because it's, it's, I feel like it's just more extreme here what they've tried to push, like in terms of entertainment, in terms of what kids see, you know, TikTok, stuff like that. Just to elaborate more on this, I remember growing up when we were on our phones, when we were on social media, just when I think now back to what exactly we listened to and what we watched and what was pushed on us as kids, it's actually crazy. Think of all these mainstream songs that trend now that talk about like drugs, violence, sex, um, drinking and, and, and actually some like you know opposite of god references and it's like now that you think about as kids we were singing this stuff as kids we were okay with this stuff we were looking up to celebrities you know and also the fact that there was not as many i guess safety measures online when it came comes to to adults talking to you know younger people and i i actually mentioned this in my q a i was exposed to a lot of things as a child online like i'm not blaming anybody but because of the way things were back then and because of what i guess like i said we saw and what was pushed on us it was crazy on all these social media sites we had and and i can't even believe it to this day and now i i'm very careful on like what i hear if i start hearing something like you know these songs that have these types of references i'm like scroll like no 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 like if it's on youtube shorts or something oh you know i have to watch for my sister too as like if you guys really saw what people my age grew up with you'd be surprised and even people younger than us and maybe now there's a bit more safety measures like you know for example like comments get restricted things like you can report things easier but when you grew up in an era with like the internet and stuff and the things you see but i guess you could also argue it's a culture thing and it's not that my parents did not watch what i do like of course but inevitably things like this will happen and i think it's just also the culture we live in because the celebrities and all this stuff that was so exciting and all the trends and all the celebrities they all had some bad influence to them but do we see this a lot in other countries in the world like when i compare things and like when i've and people have spoken to in the past there's a difference you know there's a difference with how we grow, grow up and it gets to people it really gets to people so you have to also be careful what you consume and stuff you know how they attack us it starts with the youth if you lie enough you'll convince anybody the lies the truth so telling these kids they can choose their own gender at ages they can't even tie their own shoes drive or drink is crazy common sense is it common unless it pays me that's the thought process daily look at the content we're creating lies diluting our brains i'm done trying to argue i lie with these people who think that a vote's gonna bring about change how many presidents does it take to have a life worth living? God, An I actual love comfortable it. wage. No more school shootings. Let's unite these states. It's a damn shame. And Canada, what's what going to do? For people, people like me and people like you. People think this is not happening, but if you look around, like even people who are not really into this stuff that much will see this is clearly evidence. Like this is so obvious. And you know, I know right now one of my videos that's pinned, pinned on my channel. It, or recommended or is like the thing that will appear is like about Western society, but this one is good to have too because it it, it kind of generally talks about everything. It just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is. Living in the new world. With an old soul, Lord knows it all. Just want to have total control. The song speaks to the soul, echoing the struggles many of us face in a world where the pursuit of dreams often feels like an uphill battle. Your lyrics capture the essence of the times we live in and your heartfelt delivery is truly moving. I have chills. And I honestly think this is one of my favorite songs I've reacted to in the last like month of all, like from American Flags, Your America, Black and White and this. Like, I think this is at the top. The first or the second, for sure. God will provide, God has our backs. And sometimes I, I wonder too financially what will happen because it's just, we live in such a, time like this and especially in canada y'all like it's one of the most expensive countries in the world like you know I, I worry a lot about this too and you know i mean maybe as a woman i have it easier in a sense because someone can argue then find yourself a man that loves you and has money and you'll be set but even those men i feel bad for the people that are working hard for their families like when you start thinking of the concept of work school and you really start to think you're like wow this is really our life like, it's just crazy i don't know but honestly guys i just want to say on the bright side to just keep your head up what you're doing will not go unnoticed. It will not go 
undone and in a sense where it will pay off, you know? Whenever there's a will, there's a way. I believe this. It's something that hits home for everybody. It's, it's something everybody can relate to, just like the way life is, the way things are. But honestly, guys, keep having your head up. Keep being strong. Let me go in the middle for this. Keep being strong, guys. Keep your head up. Pray. I promise you guys, it might not seem like it, but there's better days ahead. And I am living proof of that too. Um, please, guys, keep your head up and things will get better. Just be strong. Be tough. Like in a sense, put your foot down for things you believe in. Find like-minded individuals, um, like-minded person. Be careful with who you choose to spend the rest of your life with, people. Have standards. Enjoy the little things in life, you know? Just spend time with people you care about and just, yeah. Eat healthy, drink all this water, just all this stuff. Thanks guys so much for everything. Thank you so much for watching guys. Um, don't forget to give a like, comment, share, and subscribe and let me know what you guys wanna see down below and I will upload whenever I can and whenever I get the ideas. So yeah, thanks guys again and I'll see you guys next time. God bless, bye guys.